Hi, my name is Mr. Hurst. I'll be your child's teacher for this year. Um, I just want to give you a brief introduction about who I am and what I teach and just kind of what we're going to be doing this year um, in the different course that you have me for. Um, so first, you know, who is this Mr. Hurst guy? Um, uh, my name is Ian Hurst. Uh, I have a family of six here. Uh, our favorite place to go is Disneyland. I'm a bit of a Disney uh, nerd there. Um, we also like getting out there and exploring. Um, here's us at uh, OMSI and just staying curious with the, the world out there. Um, I teach engineering. Um, I think that engineering is a very open field that you know anyone can look like an engineer. And so I've made a mirror that goes on the uh, outside of my classroom. So as students walk through the hall, they can look in this mirror and they can see the caption is this is what an engineer looks like and they can see themselves as an engineer and so I teach lots of different engineering type courses and I want them to also um, see themselves as an engineer. Um, a little bit of background about myself. Uh, I went to Warner Pacific like I mentioned earlier. I uh, got my master's at Concordia University in career and technical education um, and I did this as an adult and so kind of my uh, college story um, is I went to college right away after high school and then I kind of took some time off, went and had a family, started working, and then realized uh, I wanted to get to that next kind of platform in um, jobs. So that's when I went back to school in my late 20s, finished up, and then kind of led me to this point where I'm at right now. So again, here's my uh, work experience. I was working at um, Portland Public Schools for like eight years um, doing tech support and then I came to Vancouver Public Schools doing tech support here at iTech so I did kind of Mr. Shuckle's job for two years and then that's when I finished up all my education on my undergrad and there was this path to become a teacher and throughout all this I really fell in love with education and just the teaching process I worked at different after-school programs and I helped kind of build some programs um, even here at iTech that were kind of educational based. And so that's where I found this path to become a teacher and uh, this is what I love to do, is teach. Also, uh, I did work a second job at UPS for like a decade, well nine years, and that actually has come to an end. For those who have known me for some years, um, I'm excited that this year I'm just teaching. And so that's exciting for me, <laughs> less work. All right, so these are all the things I teach. Visual Media Production is a new course I'm teaching this year. Everyday Engineering is like an advanced engineering course um, for upperclassmen. Uh, computer Science is kind of that engineering realm, but it's more focused on how to program and code. Um, Pre-Engineering and Design is a course for every sophomore here at iTech, and I teach three different sections of that. And then I teach a uh, electronic applications, a digital electronics course um, that kind of gets people introduced to that. So we're gonna jump into each of those individually, but that was my general overview of who, I, of who I am. So now we'll get into the details. For visual media production, uh, this is a new course this year, um, and I'm excited to teach it. It's something I, I have a lot of passion in, is kind of that visual uh, storytelling, and we'll get into what that course is about. So this course is kind of, uh, I want to teach students how to tell visual stories, through lots of different mediums. Um, I really kind of want to push them towards some new media stuff, but then also hold on to, um, uh, so blending in new media with like uh, video production stuff and uh, animation stuff and graphic design, blending all those together, adding um, in marketing and social media. Um, but then also yearbook, because you know, production, and publication, um, I want to also hold on to, and yes, that's me back in high school. <laughs> um, I want them to understand that, you know, just telling a story once and having it maybe like some social media post or um, something like that, I want it to also have a second life as a, a historic controlled thing that is documented into like a yearbook. So it's like, this blend of visual storytelling, um, 
and then also the documentation holding on to those memories uh, and how you tell the iTech story of how the the year went. Um, so yearbook isn't the only output of this course. Um, it's just blended. So it's blended because I'm a yearbook advisor. Um, yearbook is going to be run as a club so that the middle school students can also engage into the course. But then also this visual media production course um, overlaps with yearbook. So the students who are interested in yearbook have a course that they can get school credit. And then they're kind of excused out of some of the other uh, projects that I have if they want to kind of go the more yearbook editor route in this course. So if you have questions on that, feel free to ask an email away and I will try and do the best to keep this course float and manage all of that. Thanks.